Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're a regular subscriber, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate the support. If you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button, the little bell for notification, thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know what you think. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Some of you remember my mom had a stroke about two months ago and she seemed to be improving. But then she took a turn for the worse. I mean, she didn't want to take a medication. She didn't want to do her therapy. So her health kind of started to decline. We had to go to St. Louis to manage her care and to make medical decisions for her. Part of that was discussing with her that if she doesn't do what she's supposed to do, she would go into a nursing home. My brother had a stroke about, I want to say four years ago. He actually had two. But he really worked at it, he worked hard to get better, and he is pretty much doing a good job. He's shuffling a little slow, but his speech is good. Um, he doesn't have any paralysis in his arm, or he doesn't have any in his face. So if my brother can do it, you know, we're like, Mom, you need to get with this. One of the things she doesn't want to do is go into a nursing home, but again, we're reiterating to her that unless she, you know, does what she's supposed to do, a nursing home is exactly where she's going. She simply can't care for herself anymore. It's difficult when the child becomes the parent and the parent becomes the child. We look at our moms and dads and we see somebody that's strong and that's robust. We don't think about them as, you know, the normal human being types. We just think of them as superheroes. But when they have a health crisis, it it scares you a little and you're you're not sure what to do your first thought is oh let me call my mom and see what she thinks but you really can't do that in this situation so we're dealing we're being supportive and it's been hard but as a family we'll get through it again um, I'm not doing a look today this is just me kind of updating you on what's going on in my life right now um, hopefully um, she'll pull through or get to a point where she's living independently and she's stronger. She's not going to heal 100%. Nobody's expecting that. But we hope to see her get at least 80% of her mobility and her memory um, and, you know, everything else. In about two months, we have to make a decision if she's not at some point of improvement. Now her doctor thinks she's improving, her therapist sees improvement, but long term we have to see a bigger set of improvements with her or yeah, we have to um, get her to a nursing home. <laughs> so what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to do um, a look. This is October, so we're going to roll into Halloween Havoc uh, 2019. But before I do that, I ordered a couple of palettes off of uh, ColourPop. I was browsing a site, and it tends to be one of my favorite go-tos. I did order Aren't You Glad. I also ordered It's My Pleasure. It's My Pleasure kind of had a partner in crime, although we had to buy them separately. So I decided to get this... Um, Jelly Much in the color of Hallucino Genius. I'm really anxious to do a look on this. Um, it appeared to be glittery, but I thought it would be like loose glitter, but it's not, it's a liquid glitter. <laughs> I tend to not like those, but this was really cute. So I decided I was going to just kind of take one for the team and see what I get with that. I'll be back later on this week and hopefully I can get these two looks done before I go into Halloween Havoc. Um, the first look in Halloween Havoc is I'm going to do a look uh, based on Lizzo. I was kind of nervous about it and I didn't think I wanted to do it but Brittany Louise was very encouraging to me and so this is what I'm going to lead Halloween Havoc off. Thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for your patience. I will be back to full strength and full power this week. I'll start the first look tomorrow. Until next time, until next video, this is your Cheetah Diva signing out. <sighs> Bye.